The Ijabu people in Ogun state believe that the Queen of Sheba is actually Biliki Susungbo, a wealthy and childless widow from medieval times. The site of her grave is located in Okeri in Ijebu Ode, Ogun state of Nigeria. The grave was discovered by the hunters of old called the Alori, who went in search of animals and to explore the forest. By virtue of the fertility of her legend, the Queen of Sheba means different things to different people. To some, she is a part of religious folklore. To others, she is the beginning of a dynasty. The Bible, Quran, and the Ethiopian Kebra Nagast are a few amongst many other historical books that talk about the existence of a powerful queen who was the richest woman in her time. However, the little that is said about that is that she was rich in spices and became one of King Solomon's numerous wives and according to the Kebra Nagast, she had a son with Solomon, King of Israel. Her son was Manelik, the first emperor of the long-lasting dynasty of emperors in Ethiopia. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared because I am all alone inside this forest. Oh my god. Now, where was the Queen of Sheba really from? For years, historians were trying to figure out where the Queen of Sheba came from and where she died. They were sure that she did exist, but there was little in written history that talked about her as a person and where she died. The curiosity about where her kingdom was, as well as her place of death, led an archaeologist, Dr. Patrick Darling, and his team from the University of Bournemouth to Ogun State, Nigeria. They have found in 1995 that the legend of Biliki Susubon, who is worshipped by the people of Okeri in Ijebu, was in fact the Queen of Sheba, and that the burial site of the mystical queen was in that same town. It has since then been added to the tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. According to Darling, the queen was originally from Ethiopia. She lived there before she came to settle down in the ancient Ijebu kingdom and she inspired the creation of one of the largest portraits in ancient times, the Sungbos Eredo. There are a couple of myths connected with the death and burial ground of the queen. 1. Women are not allowed to see a graveyard. The queen was said to have placed the cause that no woman should have the privilege of seeing her grave after her death. According to a legend, when she wanted to receive King Solomon who promised to visit her, she told the woman she had a son and the King Solomon was coming to visit, but none of them believed her. And when the king failed on his promise, they continued to mock her that she was childless. For this reason, she was said to have hated women till her death. Two, no one is allowed to walk in shoes because it is believed to be a holy ground. 3. No vegetation grows around a grave. I had this before visiting that place, but I doubted it and to my greatest surprise, when I got there, there wasn't a single sign of grass growing within the area despite the fact that the site was in the middle of a forest. There was vegetation everywhere around a graveyard, but there was no vegetation in the grave area. She is indeed a powerful woman. Ijebu people see the Queen of Sheba, Biliki Susunbo, as something more powerful than a noble woman. To them, she is a goddess, as she was wise and powerful in her life. And according to the custodian of the grounds where she is said to be buried, people come from far and near to pray to her. It is prayers they come for, the custodian said. People come with different requests from prosperity to health. I'm heading back outside now. I might find somebody, probably an indigent, to you know, interview and ask a few questions about this place so as to get more information. And fun fact, I've always wanted to visit this place when I was a child. Like since I was a child, I've always you know, read books about places, about myths and legends. And I've always been fascinated about you know wonders that I've heard about or read about. And I've always wanted to see them like in person. And I'm glad I was able to witness this in person today. You know, I guess I could check that off my bucket list. And allow me to tell you this, that your dreams are valid. Your dreams are very, very valid. And dreams do come true. So stay motivated. One of my dreams just came true today. Okay. I want to do my last to reach you. No, reach, reach, 
Ok, ma. Ma voix super, à ma magie, à ma maman. Ok. Il est là. Eh. Okay. <laughs> It is clear that over time, the legend of the Queen of Sheba has been woven into many distinct cultures and places that each party would swear that their account is the truth. The questions then arise, who is Billy Kisu? Was she a mighty queen? Who better than an entire line of kings? Where are her remains? In Ethiopia or Yemen? Was the Queen of Sheba buried in Ijebu? The truth is that there are no answers. Makeda is as real to the Ethiopians as Billy Kisu is to the Ijebu people. It is the case with all legends that have been reinterpreted by time. The strength of their truth lies in the heart of those who truly believe in them. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.